everybody, I'm Nikki D from Five Dog Farm. Thanks for tuning in. Today I am making some dehydrated onions. Now I'm not making just plain old dehydrated onions. I've done that and when I don't have a little bit extra time, I'll just go right to dehydrating onions and getting it done. However, if I have a smidgen of extra time, I like to take it up a notch because balsamic dehydrated onions are phenomenal. They make a really tasty snack. I do snack on them. They are so good. It's like onion candy. If you like savory like I do and not so much of a sweet person, they're incredible. I've done them two different ways. I've done them using an instant pot to save myself some time and just cooking them down really fast. I've done them slow cooking them. Believe it or not, I prefer the slow cook method. For whatever purpose, I feel the onion holds the cells together better. The, the, it can't help it in the high pressure of breaking down. I felt they were kind of mushy and I sort of got onion mush, which is now going to become balsamic onion powder because it didn't hold as nice as the ones that I used the slow cooker um, method for. Now, this is what you end up with. They remind me of those onions that you put on top of uh, if you make the uh, green bean casserole for the holidays, Thanksgiving usually, um, those crunchy onions that you put on top, well, you've got them without the frying and without the breading. They, uh, my mouth's watering. They are just so good. So let's get to it. I don't even uh, food saver these because they just get used so quickly and uh, it's hard for me to waste the food saver pack when I'm going to cut into it and grab a handful anyway to eat. <laughs> so what I've got here is I took five onions. The onions weren't any smaller than this. I'd say maybe about three to four pounds of onions. I used a combination. I had a couple of Spanish onions and then the rest I used were sweet onions. Use whatever onions you like. Um, but three to four pounds about. I used my mandolin, again, time saver. If you don't have one and you dehydrate or are planning to dehydrate a lot, time saver, time saver, time saver. And um, if you get a good model, they work well. If you don't get a good model, you will be frustrated. I have tr tried the just the single blade ones that you hold and oh no, <laughs> I saw my hand just having to go to emergency, no. So I really have a nice model uh, and it's it's worth the investment. It is an investment in a tool that you will use all the time. So I took the liberty to already slice these. Most of you know I don't let a lot go to waste. I take all my skins and throw them in here. You're gonna see some other stuff. I had cut up some green onions the other day to dehydrate. I've got some carrot peels. I throw these in a the bag. It's a gallon freezer bag. I fill the bag. Then, using my Instant Pot, I make a stock. A veggie stock. In this case, heavy onion stock. We are going to be use it, using it to make French onion soup, but you can use it in anything. Pour it in a, in a bottom of a roasting pan when you're roasting something, whether it's a chicken or beef. It's delicious. This is what my broth looks like. I got four bottles, I think, out of a freezer bag. So that recipe is coming soon. Well worth it. I froze the rest. I kept this one in the fridge. You could even do my trick with the freezer trays if you use, we use broth for our dogs and their food a little bit. You could do that too. Anyway, this isn't about broth. This is about balsamic onions. So, really easy. I already have three tablespoons of uh, olive oil in my Instant Pot. I don't have it on yet, but I'll go ahead and turn it on. Now here's something you guys have never seen me do. I am hitting slow cook. <laughs> I'm hitting slow cook. So I had bought this specifically for the pressure cooking, not for slow cooking, but now I find I'm using it, you know, rice, yogurt, eggs, I'm using it all the time. I adore it. I have all three models. I heard there's a bigger one. La, 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 I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Okay. So I'm going to up this to eight hours to slow cook. Dump these in. Boom. There you go. In, 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 in. There we go. Put in your three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. And this is optional, a tablespoon of brown sugar. Um, I did use sweet onions. Perhaps I didn't need it. I like the caramelization that it gives. So in it goes. I happen to have it in the pantry. 
Oh, let's see. I'm going to grab a spoon here because I didn't. Give it a quick stir. And this will be the bulk of my work today is getting this stirred up. It's a rainy day outside and what could be better than having the smell of balsamic onions wafting through the house. Oh my goodness. This is going to be heavenly, I can assure you, since we've already done this recipe. So that's it. You cook it here. Put the lid on, which you're going to see. This isn't the pressure cooker lid. You could use it. Uh, it's just a glass lid. And then you come back every once in a while and give it a stir because you want it to be evenly coated. And then you dehydrate at 135 degrees, depending on your dehydrator, eight to 10 hours. Mine, run, mine runs about eight and eight and a half hours to get it dried. That's in the Kasori. The Presto could be a little bit uh, less time. That seems to dry um, a little bit quicker, but that's okay because I prefer the Kasori for cleanup and for sound. My Presto is a little louder. Uh, and then you will have this in no time flat and you're going to love it. That's it, that is a quick one today. It could not be easier. At the very end, when you take them out before you put them on the dehydrator trays, a little salt and pepper, that's it. I, I know, <laughs> I'm telling you, it is well worth it. Give it a try, tell me what you think. If you are a savory person, you are going to love it. Throw it in a salad, crumble it up and throw them in, in a salad. Throw them on popcorn. We're big popcorn people here. I try everything on popcorn. Trust me. Everybody goes, ew, I'll get my hot sauce that I make. Gigi will make her amazing popcorn, and I'm just putting hot sauce and flipping the popcorn, putting hot sauce. I got hot sauce popcorn. Balsamic onion popcorn has got to be next, I'm telling you. So, if you try the recipe, leave a comment. Let me know. I really appreciate you coming by and spending your valuable time with me. Go to the blog for the recipe at www.5dog.farm. I am going to go and take care of some puppies because Dixie had puppies and there are nine mouths to go feed. So I'm gonna let this simple recipe do its thing and I'm out of here. Talk to you soon.